I always loved singing, and I think I was like, okay, I'm going to knuckle down on this. I was like 12, and I told my mum that I was going to do it. And my mum's a singer and actress, more musical theatre stuff, but she was like aware of the struggle. But she was very cool. She said, okay, okay, do it, but you have to start learning how to write songs because that's where the money's at. Okay. <laughs> well, it was back then, actually. Yeah. It's not now as much, yeah. but... Um, but it was great advice because I, I did start writing um, straight away. I mean, you know, crap songs when you when you first start. But um, but it was so. I feel like if I hadn't started then, then I would be, you know, so far behind. Yeah, I, yeah. I suppose. So I'm grateful for that. At nine, I think like I found something I was really passionate about, and I found something I was I I was good at. So I wanted to keep doing it, and I, it's something I always want to continue to grow in? I always knew I wanted to do music. When I decided I wanted a career was probably, probably last year, about this time last year. I said, yeah, I actually want to make a career. I quit my job and said, yeah, I want this to be my career, so yeah. Um, well, that was sort of like, I basically was producing all the tunes. Like, like I had a computer and I built a little studio and I was making tunes for like four, since I was about 14. So I signed when I was 20, uh, my first record deal. Um, so that was really like, I guess, the start of my career as such. But, you know, um, yeah, I mean, 20 years old, signing the record deal. I was pretty happy, I quit my yeah. job. Yeah, and it, it was great, you know, and ever since then it's just been building up more releases, finally re released my first album last year. And um, yeah, it's just been great since then. My personal experience, I started at 15 and I was a bit all over the place. My, my drumming was together and I could play and I felt like I was rearing to go. My dad was just like, you know, it's about what's in here rather than what's, what you can do on stage. So it's about attitude. Yeah, your attitude, you know, being humble, being respectful, being polite, being punctual, being just some, a man of your word and someone who even when you get called to do a gig and you're getting paid like pennies, if you agree to do it, do your best. I'm definitely listening to like some of my favourite albums now. Actually, I'm actually taking time to, to like, just reflect on like my favourite albums of like of all times. So, like I love, you know, Dreamland by Black Box. I love Janet Jackson, Velvet Rope. I love, um, you know, Friendly Fires, Parlor. Like those are some of my favourite albums. So, I think like my favourite music is obviously like eighties R and B and nineties R and B. But then I love you know eighties pop and eighties uh, R and B also. But then I love house and you know garage and uh, you know even some indie stuff. So. I think like my palette is quite full. I'm listening to Jess Glynn. I like Jess Glynn a lot right now still, yeah. Uh, who else am I listening to? Rally Richie. I've been listening to Rally for months now though. Uh, yeah, they're probably my artists right now. That I'm listening to. Yeah. Oh my God, I've gotten into this new guy who's just blowing my mind. He's called Gabriel Garzon Montana. And he's got an EP out and it's just like, so good. The whole EP is amazing, so I can have that as one. Okay. I, uh, there's a song I really like by Austin Paul Austin called Paul. Lady. Okay. He's a newish artist, I think. Um, and then I also like uh, the Flying Lotus song with Kendrick Lamar, Never Catch Me. So good. The video is so good as well. I'm listening to Chris Brown's album, mm -hmm. the new one. Yeah. I love the song, Drunk Texan, yeah. with Janae. I think her vocals are phenomenal. Um, and what other record have I been listening to? Drake, How About Now? I like that song. It's a, it's a really catchy song. Really? And it's a it sample a record song. for a Jodeci record from back in the day. I did not know that. Yeah. So that's, that's quite interesting. Um, Earth, Wind and Fire. Yeah. Um, Stevie Wonder and um, um, Zach and Roger. Right now, I've been listening a lot to like Moderat, um, which is um, yeah, just like really like sort of cool electronic. Um, like they they've, been, uh, they've had like an album out uh, recently. This is like my favourite thing to listen to. Sort of like more kind of 
spaced out music. Jungle, obviously, like really love jungle. Like that's just my my sort of like have it in the background um, sort of music. I love hip hop, so I love like Kendrick Lamar, um, and yeah, pretty much just loads of hip hop. I think I would have told my nine-year-old self that to be patient and that everything will come when it needs to because here I am 10 years later. <laughs> so like, you know, completely different story to what was 10 years ago. So I think patience and um, actually, I think like around the time I turned 18 was when I fully discovered myself. I think there's a lot of like a gray area when I was like in my teens, but then 18 was a pinnacle year where I was like, this is who I am, mm. this is who I want to, this is the kind of person I'm growing to be. So yeah. The stuff sounds so cliche, but it's, it's the realest. It's like, just work hard, just work harder than everyone else. Um, have the right attitude, winning attitude, be positive at all times, but especially with the work ethic. Because everyone says, yeah, work hard, work hard. Yeah, you should work hard, but it's real, like, work hard and yeah. These are the little things that put you ahead of the competition, you know what I'm saying? They, put, they give you, I was saying it to someone earlier that you get the hidden gems, like the little bits of advice, the little bits of knowledge, the little bits of wisdom that you might not get elsewhere. So uh, the ultimate sem seminar, um, doing your own personal research, do you know what I mean? Getting out there, these are the things that are going to put you ahead. So, yeah. You know, make sure you know, music comes first. If you're gonna if you're gonna do a deal with a label, just make sure it's the right label for you. Don't get suddenly taken back by the fact that someone wants to sign your music because at the end of the day anyone now can sign any music. You know, it doesn't take Listen, I'm I'm stubborn. I'm working on not being stubborn and shaking that off. But listen, just be be like a sponge, like soak up the advice and and don't just soak it up but act upon it and do it with with love. I used to let the excuse of me being young be my downfall. Okay. I'm young so I've got years, you know, no no, that's not the case because I'm twenty sorry, twenty five. And um, I sometimes wish that I did certain things when I was 18. Yeah, but it's a learning curve, so I'd say just listen and pay attention and do things with diligence. To get in this business, you need to be hungry and determined and have your vision, like, because it's so easy to compare yourself to somebody else, where they are and where you are, whether it's ahead of you or behind you. Um, it's about you. This is your vision. This isn't anybody else's. So I, I always say stay focused and be willing to adapt and be willing to, to just affect your craft every day. Making sure it comes from you and really like knowing that from a, an early age is, would, be, would have been cool if I did. I think I really imagined the whole network of a, of a label and management and your agent and everything and I yeah. really like relied on that and not like when I was making music obviously but like in my head like all the stuff that comes when you're actually promoting the album okay. whereas like now like more like I know for a fact that it has to come from you all the ideas for videos or the artwork all the extra stuff um, and the music and the album the vision you have for it like it seems like obvious but really it's kind of a weird thing where you kind of right. rely on yeah. other things and and I Get definitely I wish I'd known that a little bit earlier oh, okay. to just make, take more control. I've been accused of being too headstrong, but I really think that's not a bad thing. I really think being headstrong is important. I think it's got to be you. Be headstrong. Yeah. Well, don't be, don't like knock down advice, good advice yeah. though. Listen, I think listening is important, but take everything in before you make big decisions, you know. Keep writing if you you know start if you haven't already and gig a lot as well. I think that's really important to get good at your performing yeah. and like being around crowds and not being nervous and stuff. So you say practice is the key with it. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely.